Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at an issue that I'm pretty sure every ham radio operator dreads and deals with at some point, RFI, or uh, radio frequency interference. Um, basically it's just a whole bunch of hash on your radio. It covers up some, uh, some other signals that you might care more about. And um, there's lots of different uh, sources for this kind of thing, especially in modern homes work. So I decided to hook up my Zygu X6100 and a, the little mini whip that I made in a previous video and walk around the house like a crazy person with my wife and two kids watching on and uh, they're probably rethinking some of their life decisions, but that's beside the point. Uh, but I started walking around to see if I could um, find any local sources of interference and uh, I did find a couple. Um, I was only able to put chokes on a few things, as I can't very easily change out light fixtures and LED lights. Um, I just want to at least know where the stuff is coming from so I can address it or at least adjust for it um, when I am on the air. So here you can see me looking at one of the power cables for those touch lamps we have. We have two of those upstairs in our little uh, kind of library room. And um, grab one of the bigger chokes I have and ended up having to take one loop out because it's just a little bit too big. Uh, but this did help with the amount of um, noise coming out, as you can see here. Um, it's still noisy. Um, you know, still using LED bulbs and has that touch interface and things, which... Um, always have problems, but uh, it doesn't turn itself on and off when I'm doing 20 meters anymore, which is good. And here is a wireless charger that's being very noisy. That's going to get a choke. And here's another culprit, another wireless charger. Um, this time in a different room. Not as bad, but uh, still problematic. So I'll go ahead and throw a choke on that too. Last but not least, the LED lights over my workbench. So these aren't too bad. Um, might put a choke on there, but honestly, I'll probably just leave them off whenever I'm transmitting because I'm probably not gonna be in the office and at the bench at the same time. Here's a quick demonstration of the noisiest thing I found, which are the LED lights in the garage. Um, which are maybe 30 feet from my transceiver. Uh, flipping them on and off here, you can see uh, there's not really any change, um, at least for FT8. As kind of a final test on this, I, uh, I switched over to 14090, uh, which seemed like it was um, pretty noisy with those, those lights. And I, I turned them on and off in one second pulses and um, took this video, and you, you can't tell um, that they're getting turned on and off, which is uh, promising. So, conclusion time. Uh, did I find a bunch of RFI in the house? Yes. Did I fix it all? Absolutely not. Uh, I managed to put a choke on a few things, but, um, you know, most importantly, I saw that there's not a huge effect on how I'm operating right now, with at least the RFI I saw. Um, I do have... Uh, a 10 meter dipole in the backyard and a 80, 10, and fit half wave kind of strung across the roof. That's super janky and made a magnet wire. Um, that one I think would have been, is more affected by this kind of stuff, especially those lamps upstairs that I, I put those chokes on. So I think there will be a good difference with that. I'll make another video on that. But uh, but yeah, for now, this is a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's a good, good use of, uh, of a weekend. Even if uh, everybody looked at me like I was crazy, but I'm used to that now. So, uh, yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by and uh, 73s.